Are you a teacher in South Africa who has been unable to find an online teaching job? Or have you noticed that all of the online teaching jobs for people that live in South Africa look like this? You are not alone. I have searched and I found some options that I think might work for you. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you are updated every time I post a new video about teaching online. Before we start, this is super important. I have to show you my shirt. Is this perfect? It has a ukulele. It says I'm full of shenanigans. My last name is Shanahan. Just thought it was really cool and I had to share it with you. Okay, I'm gonna start this off by saying that I'm not from South Africa. So I don't go through these struggles of not being able to find a company to work for because I live in the United States. However, I do work with teachers a lot and that's something that I have a lot of teachers that come to me and they ask me about, especially South Africa, especially saying, hey, like, I really want to find a company that I can work for. One of the things that really irks me is the term non-native speaker. I just feel like it has racist undertones to it and it leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. There's no reason if someone can speak fluent English and teach well that they shouldn't be paid a fair rate, regardless of where they are from. So today we're gonna look into some companies that do hire people who live in South Africa. Now I'm gonna tell you that not all of these companies are great companies with great pay, but I do want to talk about them because they do get brought up a lot. The last one I am really excited to share with you, so just bear with me. I'll share the pay for all of them so that we can be like fair and you can actually get the information that you came here for. So the first one that I want to tell you about is Native Camp and you may have heard about Native Camp on Facebook groups. Uh, they went through this huge recruiting process at, like December to February. So basically to work for Native Camp you have to pass an English test that they will administer to you and you have to get an 80% or higher. If you look at the website, the website is kind of discreet. I don't like, if you're in my Facebook group, you probably know that I don't like when companies are discreet when they're recruiting. Like, please be honest. Like, tell us what you're paying the teachers. Um, no teacher should be applying for a company without knowing what they're going to be paid. So per their website, they actually say that you will be paid according to your tutor's rank and you will know what your rank is after you sign your contract. So you're going to get your contract and then after you sign your contract, you will be told what you're paid. So I have talked to other teachers that work for Native Camp and non-native speakers make about $3 an hour. All right, so the next one is Preply. Preply, you don't have to have any experience, any degree, any certifications, nothing, and you can teach over 100 subjects. You're going to set your own rates with Preply, and they say most English teachers charge between $15 to $25 an hour, and they will pay you through Wise, Pioneer, PayPal, or Skrill. So the thing that's kind of funny about Preply is that they are going to take 100% of the pay for a first trial for any new student. So the funny thing about Preply is they're going to take 100% of your pay every time you get a new student. After that, they're going to take between 18 and 33% based on how much money you make. And they also have this thing where you basically a shadow band if you miss a trial. So if you no show to a trial, uh, the first time you no show to a trial, you will be and the student reports you, then you're like shadow banned or you're blocked from people finding you. The first time you'll be shadow banned until you watch a training. The second time it will be for seven days. The third time it will be for 14 days. The fourth time it will be for 30 days. And the fifth time that you know show to a trial, you will be banned from the platform. I just thought that, that was something a little bit different that I wanted to throw out there that they do. The next one is Cambly. So Cambly doesn't require any degree or experience. The pay for Cambly is 17 cents a minute or $10.20 an hour. And I'm talking in US dollars right now. If you do Cambly Kids, the pay is 20 cents a minute or $12 an hour. With Cambly, you are paid weekly every Monday through PayPal. The next one that I wanna bring up is Amazing Talker. So for Amazing Talker, you have to be fluent in English, you have to provide your own materials, and you have to have English teaching experience. The pay, you're going to be setting your own rates. They said that most English teachers are charging between $15 and $28 for a 50-minute lesson or $6 to $10 for a 25-minute trial. 
you're going to be paid on a monthly basis. So the second of each month is when you get your paycheck with Amazing Talker. And they are going to pay you through PayPal, Payoneer, or Wise. The fees from what they take from you are based on your income. So it's going to depend on what you're making. So the commission that they take from you can vary depending on what your income is for the month. The next one that I wanna talk about is italki. So with italki, you're either going to apply as a professional teacher or a community tutor. In order to be a professional teacher, you have to have a certification, so like your TEFL, TESOL, or a bachelor degree from a university in teaching English as a second language. So no other bachelor's degrees count except for teaching English or a teaching license. Community tutors are considered more like free talk, conversation practice. It says for a professional teacher, you can average is $15.73 an hour. And for a community tutor, the average is $9.79 an hour. But you're going to set your own rates and then italki is going to take 15%. The difference between italki and Preply is italki does not charge a commission for trial lessons, whereas Preply takes the entire commission for your trial lessons. Italki pays through PayPal, HyperWallet, or Payoneer. The next one that I want to talk about is called All Right. <laughs> no, it's really called All Right. You have to have experience teaching English as a second language. You have to have a bachelor's, and there is a preference given to teachers who can speak either Russian or Polish. You are paid up to $12 an hour, and you're paid twice a month through PayPal. It does say there that other methods of payment can be discussed during your interview. So when you do your interview, if PayPal doesn't work for you because of the fees, you can always ask them what other options they have. For All Right, they do provide the teaching materials. Then there's Ingu. Now, they don't say on their website how much they're paying, but I have been told that they're paid about $5 for a class, and the classes are about 25 minutes. They do provide the teaching materials. The next one is NovaKid. So with NovaKid, they want you to have one year experience teaching kids online, but it is not required. You do need a teaching certification, so again, like a TESOL, TEFL, and you have to commit to teaching 20 hours a week. You can receive your payout anytime via PayPal, and uh, from what I've been told, the pay for non-native teachers is about five to six dollars an hour. Again, they don't actually say this on their website anywhere. This was given to me by other teachers. The next one is Talk 915. There is a requirement you have to teach 40 hours a month. They prefer you have a teaching certificate and they will hire teachers from the US, Canada, New Zealand, the UK, and South Africa. They did not disclose their pay on their site and I don't know anybody that works for them. I'm sorry, I can't give you more. If you work for any of these companies, let me know in the comments like what you think about them and if you can clarify anything that I did not clarify, I'm giving you as much as I can right now. So you will be teaching students in China of all ages and they have business English, IELTS, and then free talk. The next one is my cool class. So my cool class was one that I got really, really, really excited about last year when they came out and they haven't really made too much movement. I'm kind of disappointed in because I wanted them to, I still want them to. Um, but they're kind of slow going. But what I like about my cool class is it has a completely different structure from any other online teaching company that I've seen. It's actually registered as a teacher's co-op. So the way that it works is when you're a teacher, you actually are part owner in the company, which is really cool. So they're not gonna provide materials, pay is on a monthly basis, and they have different payment options. So they have Wise, they have PayPal, they have a couple different payment options. You set your rates and they're gonna take 19%. And some of that 19% actually goes back into like paid days off. The cool thing about my cool class is that you have a lot of control as a teacher. The not so cool thing about my cool class is not all of their teaching classes are up. Like they were supposed to have classes up that were like out school where you could have multiple people come in to your class that would be taught on like Monday at three o'clock. You could have your cooking class or whatever but those aren't expected to be up until July, which is kind of disappointing because that's what I was really excited about with my cool class. So we'll see. Right now, in order to get students with my cool class, you do have to do the marketing. All right, and the next one I'm really excited to talk to you about. So I literally found out about this company yesterday. I found them on Instagram, and right before I was about to make this video, they responded to me on Instagram, and I was like, oh, you hire South Africans? Okay, 
I've known I gotta add it to this video. So next week there will be a more in-depth, I can't talk, video going over the company Awaketh. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss when I talk about Awaketh because this sounds like a really cool thing. It's basically like out school for everybody as far as teachers go. So requirements, you have to be an expert in what you teach. You don't need a certification, you don't need a degree, like literally think out school. It literally sounds like out school. You're going to be teaching kids between the ages of three and 18, whatever you want to teach them. There is not a high demand for ESL teachers. It's going to be more like out school where you can teach your photography class or you can teach your math class or you can teach your dance class. So if you want to teach ESL, you can teach ESL, but a lot of the kids in these lessons are from Singapore. And and because English is actually the main language spoken in Singapore, there's not a big demand for ESL lessons. You can teach them and there still will be students that will take them, but there's not a huge demand for it. The thing about Awaketh is they just launched in January. I did talk to them. They said that their teachers are getting bookings, but they are growing and they try really hard not to hire a bunch of teachers that teach the same thing. So if they have too many ESL teachers, they're not gonna hire a bunch of ESL teachers because they already have a bunch there. So if you have other things that you can teach, you can always apply with those other things. Just like out school, you're going to set your own pay and it can be for multiple kids. They will take 30% and unlike out school, you'll be paid on the 15th and the 28th of each month. So you're paid twice a month. Again, I'm gonna be doing a full video when I look into it more. I literally just started talking about the school today, so I don't know a ton about it, but I will be bringing more to you about it because it sounds really exciting. So I don't actually work for any of these companies or I don't actively work for any of these companies. I guess I'm on the roster for my cool class and for Cambly, but I don't actually work for them. If anybody works for these companies, any of them, and you find that I made an error and you wanna correct me, please do so in the comments. Call me out. It's okay. And then the last option that I want to talk about is my favorite option in the whole world that I talk about all the time when I talk about teaching online is going independent. So most of the time when a teacher from South Africa comes to me and they're like, hey, do you know of any companies? I usually tell them to go independent. Like, just do it. Do it. Like, you know what you're worth. Don't settle for these low-balling rates. Just go out there and crush it. You could do it. Now, as an independent teacher, you get to set your own rates, you get to set your own rules, you get to figure out who you're gonna teach, what you're gonna teach, where you're gonna teach. There is a learning curve when you go independent though. I will warn you, there's a learning curve. It's not like easy peasy lemon squeezy or anything like that. There is a learning curve to it. But once you master the art of going independent and teaching online independently, the income potential is life-changing. If you're interested in learning how to go independent, again, make sure you're subscribed every Saturday. I'm gonna come out with a video that will help you if you're independent, or you can always shoot me an email. I do respond to my emails. If you've been struggling to find a company that will hire you and a company that you can work for that pays you decent pay, I hope this video helped you filter some of the companies out and hopefully even helped you find your new company. If you wanna watch more videos about companies that you can work for as an online teacher, make sure you check out this playlist here and I will see you guys on the next video.